just like we're creating a story. We've got a 30 footer, downhill right to left, breaks about a foot and a half. Gonna aim over there, right? Okay. So I come on in, take track stroke number two, so that I'm not accelerating just long enough. Go for it. Notice your follow through isn't as long? Why? Why wasn't your follow through as long? No, because you didn't accelerate as long. If I played tennis. Okay, so I, I spoke to you earlier that we needed to work a little bit on some mental skills, correct? And I was concerned about her apathy, being apathetic, right? Or indifferent. So what I did was I captured her attention by using what's called a decision tree. So she basically has to answer three questions. How long's the putt? Which way does it break? And where do I intend to aim? And what that does is it captures her attention and it directs it toward the putt, like building a picture in her mind of what the putt's gonna do. You saw how quickly yeah. that worked, right? And then um, the only thing mechanically, the ball's too far forward, she has leaning backwards. And then she has this little under twist and because of that it, it adds loft and the ball launches with some bounce to it yeah and then what she'll do then is then she'll try to follow through and accelerate too much to follow through right so you just kind of saw how i addressed kind of those three things like pretty quickly yep all right definitely right as you think is you're actually on a little bit of a crown here saddle and then that slope there so it's like a feature to it that little ripple do you see it yeah i kind of do you kind of do right so putts break less when you have double triple breaks the, yeah if it were planar like perfectly a plane of glass yeah. then it would have a very predictable break you see what i'm saying yeah but because it's going like this it breaks a little less that. And you're a freshman? Yeah. Taking geometry yet? No, you're in algebra right now? What are you taking for math? Math one. Math one, but there's components of logic probably. Mm -hmm. Probability. She's, it's level two. Level two? Yeah. Not there yet. They're not there yet? Yeah. Well, geometry, uh, here, I'll just explain math to you real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, arithmetic is numbers. Mm -hmm. Got it? Mm -hmm. So arithmetic would be like addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, division. Okay, so it's just numbers. Yeah. Um, algebra is where you're beginning to introduce a letter for a number. Oh, okay. Yeah. That came a little quicker. You, you, you're doing a little bit of that. Yeah. Too bad your teacher didn't tell you that first day of class, <laughs> right? <laughs> so how do we do that? So if one plus two is three, x plus 2 is 3, what's x? Yes. So it's just getting you to start to... Math is all about problem solving. So arithmetic, we're using numbers. Yes? Yes. Algebra, we're substituting a letter for a number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then geometry is we're taking shapes like circles or right triangles. We'll begin with a right triangle. Yeah. And you start to solve for angles and sides. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. And then that brings the introduction of trigonometry, which is literally the, the cal like missing angles and missing sides, and mm -hmm. you can find them. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So do you see the progression? We go arithmetic, mm -hmm. algebra, geometry, mm -hmm. trig. Now calculus is like a missile or an airplane flight. It's <laughs> curved. Mm -hmm. It involves what? A trajectory mm -hmm. and a speed, mm -hmm. like track man. You've been on track man. Yeah. That's calculus. Or that's calculus. Yeah. yeah. So even green reading is calculus. If you wanted to calculate it, yeah. if I knew the slope, yeah. Mm -hmm. If I knew the slope, and I knew the angle of the slope, yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. And how hard I was going to hit it. Okay. I could create an alg algorithm that would say, hey, aim fi five inches left. Right. Make sense? Yeah. I so math is a progression. What you need to understand when you take math from here on out for the rest of your mm -hmm. high school, college career, yeah. 
is that what I'm learning in second grade is helping me with what I'm going to learn in seventh grade, eighth and ninth grade, and those those tools are applied to each. So um, my mother was a math teacher, my stepfather was a math teacher, <laughs> my real father was a technology teacher. He was cool. Every kid in the school liked him because he was cool. Yeah. And then my stepmother taught English all at the same school. There you go. I went to the rival school. They didn't, I didn't want to have my parents. At <laughs> so, but the point is this, is getting you to understand. Um, with green reading, we're looking. See how I described the shape to you? Yeah. Yeah, so can you see that big crown right over there in that green? Yes. See that? Yeah. Yes. Versus see how flat and tilted that is? Mm -hmm. That side's way easier to put yeah. than over here. And now that we've kicked everybody off the green, we can use the rest of the green. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, so can you see that? So when you squat back down now, okay, it's, it's how far? Four. Yeah. Do you see this little this little ripple that was coming off of and then kind of through Keep here? Yes, yeah. I do. Yeah. Right over here. Get a to move right. So it's kind of like a little double break. Yeah. So aim it maybe just outside the left edge and see what we get. So double breaking putts break less. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. So just barely, almost at it. Let's see what happens if you aim almost at the hole. Very good. Go for it. All right. Go for it. Ooh, I just need a little more speed. Good work. That was an excellent. Yeah. Where are you gonna aim it? Good, good read. Now go take a couple practice strokes. Make sure the backstroke and the through stroke are the same length. The same amount of rotation. Yeah. Good. Okay, did you hit it too hard? Nope. Alright, uh, read that one. So getting her to the habit of uh, just, how long is this putt? Five. Which way is it break? Oh, excellent. Good. We're going to aim it. Okay, go for it. So we've already captured her attention. Yeah. yeah. See how she's doing it each time? Mm -hmm. So that little decision tree, those three questions. Yeah. After a while, how, far? how long is the putt? Right. Which way does it break? Right. And where you intend to aim? Right. Make sense? Captures her attention. Good. All right, let's do the other one. Now, pretty soon, we will learn to execute. And that's all we worry about is execution. Yeah. We don't worry about whether they go in or not. Right. Right. Which is a different way of thinking. Does that make sense? Yeah. You're using yeah. the exact words that I would use. Yeah. We have it's, to practice executing. So it's executing. this decision tree is actually the first phase of the process right. okay. and then her setting up targeting aiming and lining would be the second phase right okay. and then executing a good feeling stroke would be the third phase and then the feedback and recall after i've hit the putt would be the fourth phase so i'm gonna gently take her through this without her knowing it that's cool yeah. all right so you ready so what's the first thing that we do we, yeah which way it breaks right now after a while you don't even have to tell that. Maybe after the putt, I would say, hey, how long was that putt? And you say, you know, Mr. Orr had that little six-footer mm -hmm. uphill right to left, broke about four inches, mm -hmm. aimed it maybe a little bit more to the right, and I yanked it in the hole. It was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do it this way. <coughs> then I look at my target, I aim the putter, and align my body. That would be like the second phase. Okay. So first phase is decision tree. How long is it? Six feet. Which way is it break? Now you seem like a smart kid. You could add six foot downhill right to left to it, right? You could add the slope to it if you wanted to. Downhill right to left, right? Re aiming it. Good. Now go do your practice stroke. I played just a little more than half a ball. Yeah. So now your practice strokes, they feel balanced, right?
ball went, the ball speed went in like a dunk, yeah. right? Yeah. Or a spike in yeah. tennis, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the third phase is executing a good stroke. And then the fourth phase would be the feedback and recall, like, oh, that was too fast. Yeah. So we start doing this, this process of how long is the putt, which way is the break? A couple of practice strokes. Look at the target, aim the putter, align my body. Make a good feeling stroke. I look up, it's too hard. Yeah. It still went in. <laughs> I underread it. Yeah. You see how it's a cycle? Mm -hmm. Yep. So do you know the difference between a process and a routine? I'll be impressed if you do know. Okay, a routine would be the order in which I do things. So every morning I wake up, I feed the dogs. I brush my teeth. I take a shower and I get dressed. I do it every morning. In that order. Got now, process means I have to execute some tasks or some event, events have to take place. So like for me to feed the dogs, two cups of dog food have to go in for the big chocolate lab. Mm -hmm. and two cups of dog food have to go in for the little black lab. And those bowls are separated so they don't fight over the food. Mm -hmm. So once there's, once there's two cups in each, I've executed feeding okay. the dogs. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. yeah, so execution is more about like, or process is more about like executing something. So here, yeah, so here I'm, I'm seeing the distance, which way it breaks, where I'm going to aim it. Check. I've checked the box. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I execute it. Then, when I get here, I've executed two beautiful strokes, yeah? And then I'm looking at the target aiming, I've executed that. Now I make a good stroke. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And then I look up and go, hmm, I pushed it. So this is the mental process, right? Okay, so after I feed the dogs, I go in, I turn the shower on. I have our nine tankless water heater, so it's dependent on, I've got to get the water pressure right to get the temperature right. You ever been in one of those showers before? You haven't, have you? Maybe, no, 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 not, not a, you talking about a tankless? Yeah, so yeah. where you got to get no. the water pressure right for the temperature to be right. Yeah, we haven't. The higher the water pressure, the, 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 the hotter it is. Probably in a hotel. <laughs> it sounds cool. Yeah, yeah but it's, uh, yeah. So anyway, and then I have to use what shampoo, body wash. Yeah. I got to make sure I rinse. Got to make sure they're off. Mm -hmm. Then I've executed all those little tasks within taking a shower. But you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So now, so those those would be the mental skills that you need to practice. You need to mentally start preparing and building this process yeah. and executing the process. Mm -hmm. And after a while, that's all that matters. Nothing else matters. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. We're going to aim it. Stop. Okay. Good. Now you're going to take some practice strokes. So good feeling practice strokes. Yep. Yep. Now I'm going to aim target. You will look left to center. Yep. I'm going to aim the putter. Good. Align my body. Good. Now make a good stroke. And you hit it too hard. hard. Just hit it too hard, right? Like, did everything right. Yeah. But, Dad, I did everything right. <laughs> Except, hit it too hard. All right. You can come on in here. Yeah. So, let's talk about. Let's start a new one. Not all three putts are equal. So, the first type of uh, three putt is proximity to the hole. So, when she hits a green and the pin's way over there, way up there. Mm -hmm. Well, the probability of her three putting is much greater than it is one putting. So we call that a ball striking three putt. Okay, makes sense. She's just not close enough. Yeah. Right. So the fix is hit it closer, yeah. <laughs> chip it closer, mm -hmm. wedge it closer, pitch it closer, lob it closer. Mm -hmm. Right? Prox yeah. just get, listen, if you always if you hit your second sh second shot to a foot, yeah. you gonna three putt it? No. no. <laughs> All right, now the second type of three putt. We've, we've hit it in there at a six feet. We've got a birdie putt, but we're down what? Two. So you're sitting here trying to make this birdie putt, right? Trying to make this birdie putt. Oh man, I've got a six footer. I'm going to make this thing. 
Now, do I have more further coming back than, than I had? Yeah. It's called an idiot three putt. Oh, thank you. You're a total <laughs> idiot. <laughs> because even though you had the opportunity to make it, you, did, you, didn't, you weren't intelligent. Yeah. On a downhill putt, downhill down grain, speed is everything. So hit this with the right speed, where it's just kind of falling in. Uphill, hey, I could have been aggressive uphill. Yeah. But I gotta be precise downhill. So hit it precisely the right speed, with the right punch. Yeah, see, now we're good. Same rate, yeah. better stroke, better touch, more precise, and you make birdie instead of bogey. All right, now, another type of three putt would be, see how steep this part of the slope is right here? Yeah. So imagine these greens fast. Mm -hmm. And you've got this little five footer to that old cup. See this old cup? Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, great exercise, putting the old cups. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so try to hit this putt maybe a foot or two through that old cup. So this would be where the slope. Pro, you remember all, all the hard day with the superintendent? Yeah, so this is... Tough man contest. Yeah, so now look what you got coming back. <laughs> so that three putt is because okay. the whole location is too difficult. The slope is, is too steep relative to the stem. Right. That's a slope percentage versus stem percentage issue. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep, totally. So there's three types of three putts, you know, so yeah, I had seven three putts. Well, did you have four proximity uh, ball striking three putts, two idiot three putts, and one yeah. most, superintendent three putt? Most, most of her three putts are the first one. The, not, they're, she's too far away. Well, no, 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 they're... they're the idiot three putts? Yeah. Don't yeah. be afraid to say yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they, true, that's right? like the one you just did that, that downhill. That's she'll blow it by six. Well, now feet. she's not going to after right. this lesson. Because right. She's going to know that she's going to know that putts going down the slope. This is going to be really hard. Putts going down the slope versus up the slope have a completely different strategy. Like there, you're just trying to be precise, right? You see it there? You're just trying to be precise, right? As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even try. Yeah, so I wouldn't even try to make that here. I would just literally try to do whatever you can do to barely, like, barely trickle over it or in it. You know what I mean? Barely. Good. Perfect. Now, they went in the middle of the cup, yeah? Remember? <laughs> Good thing there's a cup there. Right in front of me, right here. Okay, now. Tennessee, the ball had the ball too far forward, the shaft leaning where? So that's adding loft. Mm -hmm. Now, can you imagine me trying to twist the putter, try to keep it square? See my hands kind of turning? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I see a little bit of that. Under twisting and adding loft. Yes. Which we'll spend maybe the next lesson working more on that. Okay, but she can do us some justice by <clears throat> Let's let's <clears throat> let's learn by um, let's learn by doing things a little different. Ready? Get me a putt um, just toward that leaf, one of those leaves. Hit me a putt with the ball forward and the shaft backwards. Right there. Just toward that leaf. Ball forward. The shaft. So the shaft's more at your belly. Yeah. See that? No, I'm going See how it just sounds weird? Yeah. Weak. Right. So with loft, we call it weak or strong. Mm -hmm. So by adding loft, what do we do? It's weak. weak. Yeah. It's weak. So show me stronger. Show me the loft. Yeah, move the ball back a little bit, the shaft forward a little bit. Make the loft strong. Make the loft stronger. Yes. And hit it with a stronger loft. Go. Whoa. Yep. Yeah. How many feet difference? So where's neutral? It's closer to slightly strong, yeah? Yeah, hit me one neutral, ready? 
fall maybe back just a hair, shaft forward maybe a half a degree to a degree. You're taking the loft, we're making the loft stronger. Mm -hmm. Do it a little bit stronger. Good, now hit it with a slightly stronger loft. Yeah, now that wasn't as good as the strong one, was it? No. That's because when you went through it, go ahead and soak through it. When you went through it, you still added. Mm. Instead of the loft being stronger, and then boom. Oh, okay. Got I it? Yeah. Over the hair more forward. Right, you're good now. Shaft with degree. Left. Yeah, now see how this points instead of at my belly button? It's yeah. like just barely left of my belly button. All right, now hit it stronger loft to go. Yes. You can hear it. Yeah. You can hear it, right? Click. Now, we're not raking leaves, so don't yeah. give me this long follow through. Okay, ready to do it again. So, ball back oh, just inside the left foot. Okay, shaft barely left the belly button. Now hit it stronger lofted. So you feel how this angle is different mm -hmm. versus when it's like mm -hmm. right there. So that doesn't feel like an angle. Yeah. Now give me just a little bit. Maintain that angle. Feel that wrist band, the hair band? Yeah. That's going to be your key. Mm -hmm. Go. Hair band. Go. Launch. Yeah. Yes. Now give me a longer backswing. And not as long a fall. So hit it stronger lofted. Got it? Mm -hmm. Your hair band. Pay attention to where your hair band is. Yeah, oh, you hear God. it? Sounds so good. Yeah, I heard that. So it just picked up 25 yards. Yep, so hit it, yep, hit it stronger. Go. 100%. Oh, that's still. Yeah, keep doing it. Hair band. Hair band is going to be like the fortune cookie. Right mm -hmm. there. You know what a fortune cookie is? There's yeah. not a lot of information. I just got one in his hand all the time. What's that? I just wear one, remember? Yeah, that's right. You ready? Go ahead. Now, do you feel like the club is rotating differently? It's not going this way anymore? Yeah, a little bit. It's going bit. like this way? Yeah. Okay, do it again. Now. Yeah, that's almost too much. Right there, got it. Now, hairband, go. Yes. So, here's what's going to happen. All of your reads and all your touch and everything has been relied on that stroke that adds loft. Mm -hmm. Now you've just picked up how many feet? Seven feet? Mm -hmm. So now you're going to have to work really hard on her touch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Downhill, uphill, yeah. side hill, right? But now they're coming off more solid. The putter's actually rotating naturally now instead of her steering and yeah. under twisting. Yeah. So sense? what was my thing? Was this like, was this how I was before? Oh, let's do it. That's how you learn it. Here, bring those back. Nice actually, arch. get them back. So you'll learn this when you go to school and business and stuff like that. So the average person charges per hour. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. So it's like, like minimum wage should be more than 50. Like it hasn't kept, it hasn't caught up. What's funny is, I'm I'm not a Democrat or a Republican, but minimum wage hasn't changed, it hasn't caught up or kept up mm -hmm. with our lifestyle and our cost yeah. of living. You see what I'm saying? What is it? Seven bucks? Yes, yeah, but maybe ten in some places. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So, but the point is this. Okay. So, most people charge per hour. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that would be like. Like the average rate a golf pro probably charges what, 100 bucks? Yeah, somewhere in there. 75 yeah. bucks an hour, right? Yep. Now, when you get all these certifications and blah, 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 right? You've got technology. Like, I've spent over 100K on putting technology. Like, I've got sensors that go on your wrists and your forehead. And I got I got 80 putter heads in my putter <laughs> fitting system. So, you, there's, a, there's a lot of overhead. Yeah. You make sense? Yeah. Then, I've been teaching for 30 years. I've taught two players in the top 10 in the world, three, three Ryder Cup players, two Solheim Cup players. One of my players is a top 10 player on the LPG Tour of the world. You ever heard of Lexi, Lexi Thompson? Yeah. That's from Iowa. Well, she was here Wednesday. That's crazy. Nice. We're in the right place. You never know who's flying in. Yeah, I mean, there, there she is right here. 
tell you what, I'll send this to you. Dad, just don't, just don't, just don't let anybody out. <laughs> <laughs> There's Lexi right there. There you go. Right there. That was Wednesday. It's cool. Yeah. So, but, so, and then obviously Golf Digest and Golf Magazine, number one teacher in North Carolina, whatever. But the point is this. So now we have per hour and we have expertise, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm at the third tier, which is availability. Like I, I only have a certain number of days yeah. available. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. So whether it's my mother, my cousin, a tour player, that time slot is uh, that, that's the only thing I got available. Yeah. Right. That makes sense? Yep. Totally. So what happens is when you start change charging based on availability, you start increasing the rate. That's like an attorney, like yeah. an attorney. Yeah. So attorneys charge five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars an hour because of making themselves available to you. Yeah. Makes sense. Yep. Yeah. So, totally. But yeah. So you asked how I got there. I mean, I've done sixteen years of research on putting. Um, eight years of biomechanical research uh, on the body. Mm -hmm. Um, plus, I watch, let's see, in an hour's lesson, I probably watch close to 100 putts in an hour. So I'm watching five to 600 putts a day and four or five days a week. That's 3,000 putts a week. <laughs> right? So, yeah, so, but let's talk about you now. Remember when you started at the beginning of this lesson that you were really like here and I, all of a sudden the decision tree got you up? So that's always going to be an issue with you throughout your career is being able to capture and direct your attention because yeah. otherwise you become apathetic, which is not good. All right, now, uh, now, what's interesting, one of my, I got several good friends around the world, but one of my good friends is a neuroscientist in Germany and he studies handwriting. That's mm -hmm. his specialty. Mm -hmm. And he says the brain likes to learn through differential learning so like you know how we had the ball forward the shaft back yeah and you could hear that it was kind of thin the ball bounced okay then we played the ball maybe just a titch back shaft a little stronger right and then i hit it like that oh boy that sounds way yeah. different yeah so if i if i did half of that yeah oh there we go mm -hmm. so the brain likes to learn that way yeah rather than being told Okay, ball position, one inch left, shaft, one degree forward, stance. See how I'm going through, like, through the grocery list? Yeah. The brain has way more fun learning that way. And then it goes, well, what's the path of least resistance? Well, it's the middle one. The middle one is the... Right. So the brain goes, I want to do that pattern. So let's do that real quick right here. Don't be surprised. Hey, hang on. Don't be surprised. So less loft equals more speed. Think of Bryson DeChambeau. What's the loft of his driver now? Four and a half degrees, five degrees? So loft, meaning launching the ball what, up and down, speed. Right? So show me where just maybe slightly strong. Show me where the right spot would be. And then aim a little more to the right. Like aim over here. Yep, slightly strong. Mm. Good, how's the speed? So you used to be a person that was always short. Yeah. Okay, let's do it again. Up. Cut to that hole over there. Towards the back. Now, if you're really keen, meaning I'm really smart, do I do the same order all the time? So now I can change the order. So you could do one really strong, then one do one really weak. Right, really strong. Falls back, shafts a little forward, almost pointing to the left side of your body, right? Now hit it strong. Yeah. 
kind of hit the top of the face, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's good. All right, now do one weak. Balls forward, shaft back. Even the bracelet's back. Let's move it back more. Got it, go. Yeah, see it bounce? Mm -hmm. Okay, now so where do you think you should be? Where's the best place? Mm -hmm. Show me. Now this is interesting, watch this. Where's the best place for the ball? Where's the best place for the shaft? Kind of middle spot. Yeah, good. Just a little bit. Yeah, and hit it strong. Yeah, there you go. Hit it a little on the height. High on the face. Yeah. Right, let's do it again. Delete. Once you've learned so, where neutral is or your preferred pattern, yeah. then you start to repeat that. Right. And then you still throw in some differential every once in a while. So you know. Yeah, you know the feel. Right. So now, you ready? We've done different. Yeah. Now let's do three of the carbon copies of each other. Now, carbon copies are not the original copy, correct? <laughs> so now, let's do three in a row where you think it should be. Yep. Shaft just barely left. Yep. A little strong. Good. Make sure it stays strong. Yes. Now hit me another one. Do everything the same way. Do it the same way. Ball's in the same spot. Shaft's in the same spot. Maintain the wrist of the care band. That hairband might be the secret to your lock. Absolutely. Yeah. Huh? It's a little cue, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, was your follow through long? Yeah, yeah make it even. Yeah. Ball left to center, shaft left to barely. Maintain the hair the hairband. Yeah. I'll take, good. I'll take that. Yeah. Take that. So when you go through the ball, back back and through, so you're weak. Yeah, see, and if you open it at all, it's really weak. You see that? Yeah. yeah. Now show me the new one. Yeah, shaft's just, yeah, yeah. Now the hairband feels different. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. You feel the difference in your wrists like this? Yeah. No, no, stay right there with the okay. head. Your wrist feels weak. Here the wrist feels stronger. Mm -hmm. Can you feel that? Yeah, I do. You feel it here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now when you swing it, to make it keep, yes, much better. All right. Go. Oh. You want me to say it? No, nope. you don't need to say it. Just see it. Yeah. Yeah. And do you practice right? Yeah. So the new slightly strong for that right. Because now I'm what? Strong. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so now that my loft is stronger, I don't have to accelerate longer. Thank you. Makes sense. Yeah, that yeah. does make sense. Mm. <laughs> my loft is stronger. I might want to play a little more break. The reason why is when the loft is stronger, the ball rolls earlier. Ooh, it rolls earlier. Mm -hmm. So the break makes it take Never better, man. So you might want to play a little more break now. Does that make sense? Good. Loft is stronger. <laughs> Good roll. Okay, a little more backswing and now you want to That's right. And you'll see that I'll be able to So think about that for a second. The loft is stronger. Correct? The ball's gonna roll earlier. In this group, the better because it rolls earlier, I gotta play more break. So isn't it interesting how this little puzzle? You ever had a puzzle before with all the pieces? Huh? How do you put together the puzzle? You know what I do? I look at the picture on the box. <laughs> So you big picture. Well, and then what do I do? I take all the colors that 
look organized together mm -hmm. in the pictures. Yeah. And then I start putting the shape, connecting the shapes together. But you do it the hard way. You yeah. do the border. Uh -huh. It's the hard way. Yeah. Kay was a master. Yeah. 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 Make sure when you put her down, it's more middle-ish. Yeah, there you go. All right. So that's all we're working on mechanically. You think you can handle that? Mm -hmm. Weak versus strong. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ball position forward is going to require that you feel very strong. Yeah. Ball position back, not as strong, but it's she's got to feel more. that, right? So, all right, go for it. Play more break. Yeah, because I'm strong, I don't have to accelerate as long. <laughs> yeah, go. Ooh, play just a little more break and a little more back when we got it. I like that line. Give me another one on that line. Okay, it's good seeing you today. Nice seeing you. Mm -hmm.